Okie dokie. Second video, same day. Blurred. Um, this is the comic book panel bag. And what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need the pattern. And you know, I always print out my pattern. And where's my pen? Uh, <laughs> Oof. Duh. Where are we at? Yep. All of this right here can be black. All of this can be the same color as your um, bag, which is going to be white vinyl. I know. Hate me now. And all of these will also be white vinyl. Or not white vinyl, white thread. So print this out. Go ahead and look at your PDF instructions. That's going to give you the exact measurements for the vinyl and the lining. This is a fully lined bag. Um, as far as the fabric insets, those you are going to, because... Um, you're going to want to and get the right image and blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not giving you measurements verbally. <laughs> um, so go ahead and um, that's going to be one of those ones where you, you take a piece, you've interfaced it. This is not interfaced yet. I need to interface it. Um, and then you're going to kind of look at your die line and lay, what do I want to show? Do I want Cap's face? Do I want his... Um, do I want Thor? What do I want? So that's going to be kind of tricky. Um, you're going to use fussy cuts for that, and we'll go over it together. For those who have never done an applique before, um, you're going to need three pieces of fabric for the lining, and the measurements, again, are in um, your PDF. And these do not have to be interfaced. Ha-ha, yay! You will need uh, one or two lobster claws or D-rings, depending on if it's a side or a wristlet. I'm doing a wristlet, so I need one... Lobster claw and one three inches of five eighths inch ribbon. You will need a zipper that is two inches wider than your bag. You'll need two piece or three pieces of vinyl. There's my three pieces of vinyl. Um, and the measurements again in the instructions. And you will need two pieces of one inch ribbon by two inches. Do -do -do, because it's a fully lined bag. So hoop up. Oh, there you go. Hoop up your stabilizer. Throw it in the machine and run Color Stop One. We will be back after Color Stop One. And again, I but that's bigger than a five by seven hoop. Yeah, I know. All of my tiny hoops are busy doing other stuff, so we'll just have to settle with it. All right, back in a minute. And there we are. So go ahead and grab your D ring and your lobster claw and your fish your ribbon three. If you're doing the top attach, you'll put them here and here. I'm doing side, so I'm going to put it here. We're gonna put it about a quarter of an inch over and tape down. And then because we don't like floppy metal bits in our machine, we're gonna tape that down too. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in the machine and run color stops two and three. Two and three, please. Back after three. Well, I did not do you any favors. I went ahead and um, ran that die line in white. Oops, so it's really hard to see. But trust me, it's there. If you look really close, you can see it. And you see those two lines up there? Well, there's three. Between these two big ones right here, this one and this one, we're going to put our zipper. Put your zipper head off to the left. Line it up so that the zipper tape is barely covering the stitch line. Taper down. Like. Wow. Come here. Like so. And then go pop it back in the machine and run color stop four. Come here. There we go. And I will see you after four. And there we go, our zipper is tacked down, so we're gonna set that aside for a second and grab our ribbons. These are one inch by two inch, but when we fold them in half, they become one inch by one inch. And we are going to mark the half inch point on both of them. Just a little mark so we know where to line them up. So there's one. And there's Come here. Stay. Heel. Fetch. All right. Now we're going to come up here and we are going to pull up this little piece of tapey tape. And we are going to line up with the fold towards the, the center and the raw edges towards the outside with our stitch line like so. And we are going to tape back down. And then we're gonna come over here and do the same exact thing. Doo -doo -doo. We're gonna take our tape, 
with the fold towards the center. We're gonna line up um, our stitch line with the little chalk line I made. We're gonna center it. I'm gonna put some tape down to hold it in place. Then we are gonna grab our first piece of vinyl. Doo -doo. And don't worry about the top right now. We're just working out on the bottom. And I am going to urg, make sure that I am in camera, in frame. I'm gonna line it up so that the raw edge of my vinyl, the straight, nice edge is right there on the zipper. I am covering left, right. And I'm gonna put a little bit of tape to hold all this. Uh, Mishigosh all together. That slid down. Of course it did. Of course it did. Okay, now down. Stay. Come over here, heel. And then down at the bottom, I'm just gonna put lightly two little pieces on the corners just to keep it laying flat. Go ahead and run color stop four and we'll be back after that. And there we go, we've tapped tap down, tape down, stitched, tacked, tacked is the word I'm looking for. We've tacked down our vinyl. Go ahead and run color stop. Six is gonna give us an applique position. So we will be back after six. Okay, kiddos, we've got our first die line for our first piece of fabric. And comic book fabric, whatever you use, um, you're going to need to fussy cut it, cut it so that you can anchor your feature right in the middle. So this square, this is the five by seven bag, and this square is two by three-ish. So I'm gonna have some cutoff, but I think it'll be okay. Um, and I need to decide Journey into Mystery with Thor. Do I want that there or do I want um, Thor when, um, when meet the immortals? Not really certain. Da -da -da. Well, let's do journey into mystery. So, yep. And I wanna make sure that there's enough hanging off that I will be able to do um, uh, my applique cut. So I'm gonna place this where I think it needs to go. And I'm going to just lightly tape, not even all four corners. I'm gonna lightly tape one corner and the top Throw it in the machine and it's gonna do a zigzag and I'll come back and trim that out with you, okay? Okay, there we go. Now it's time to applique cut that. So we are going to take up this tape and we're gonna set it aside because we're about to use it again. And this tape, set it aside because we're about to use it again. We're gonna find a way to come in. Then we're gonna lay the paddle over our zigzag and as close as possible, cut right up against the stitches. And now we're gonna put it back in the machine. We're gonna come run color stop eight, which will give us another die line. So we will be back after eight. And there we go. This is another two by three square. Remember, I've interfaced the back of my fabric to give me something really um, tough to hang on to. Um, and I'm kind of visually inspecting to see how much I'm gonna be getting cut off, trying to get it centered so it looks good. All right, there we go. Go ahead and uh, dawned on me, just because you know I'm a comic book by basement dwelling nerd, doesn't mean that you have to use comic book fabric. You can use any fabric for this, but the idea came about because I was looking at a comic book page, so there's that. Go ahead and throw it in the machine and run color stop nine. We'll be back after nine. Okay, there we are. We need to applique trim that. So just like the first time, pull up your tapes, get a little bit of a start going, lay the paddle over the stitches, get as close as you possibly can. I turn my hoop, not my scissors, because I know how hold, which position I cut best holding my scissors. So rather than force my body to 
do something awkward, yeah, I just move the hoop. All right, go ahead and run color stop 10 for our next little square. And it's, I think, two inches by two inches. We'll be back in a second. Okay, I was wrong. It's one and a half by two. So I am going to try and get cap centered in this as much as possible because we want his sexy little face. There we go. Do, do, do. And there we go, go run color stop. I've lost track. Color stop 11. We'll be back right after 11 to trim him out. And there we are. So once again, take up our little tapey tapes. Grab our applique scissors. Do, do, do. Turn your hoop, not your scissors. Get a good start going. Get as close to the stitches as you possibly can without cutting the stitch stitches. Blah, blah. Do, do, do. Turn your hoop, not your scissors. Do, do, do. Come here. All right, there we go. Now throw it back in the machine and run color stop. Hmm. 11, 12, run the next color stop. It's gonna give you the last die line. And here we are for our last um, piece. This is four by two. So I'm kind of um, making it up as I go along. Yep, that's gonna work. Do do there and there. Throw it in the machine and run color stop. I have no idea. 13, 12, 27, 18, oh, run 13. We'll be back after 13 to trim it out. And here we are. So this is our last trim out. And then we will run color stop 14. And then we've got more bag assembly to do. So 14 and then, so let's trim and then run color stop 14. And then we will be back between 14 and 15. Do, do, do. All right, there we go. We're all trimmed out. Go run color stop 14. I'll see you between 14 and 15. Okie dokie pokies. We have got the top of our, uh, the front top. Yeah. We've got the front of our bag taken care of. So now we're going to start on our lining. And I know we haven't done the top yet. The top vinyl. That's okay. Just chill. Okay. We're going to flip this hoop over and we are going to find <coughs> where the zipper tack is. And I did it in white, so I did no favors, but it looks like our satin lines up and we are going to mark about eh, a half an inch down from that. As soon as I find a ruler. Okay, so from about a half an inch down from where our satin is, just like so. There you go. Now we are going to take our first piece of back fabric, doo, doo, doo. which one of these it is, the back fabric. This one is the fabric, or the lining fabric. And we are going to lay it pretty side down. And we are going to line up the raw edge right along that line we just drew. And we're gonna make sure that we are covering the left and right of our bag and we are going to put four corner tape well it can't be corners because you know it's sticking way on up there but we are going to tape this down so that gravity does not play havoc with us see like here so those two corners and then left and right and we are going to put it in the machine and we are going to run color stop 15. So run 15 and we will be back after 15. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. Now what we are going to do is we are going to, it's tacked down with a single line. We're gonna take up these two tapes 
and we are going to fold the fabric down so that about a quarter of an inch of it sticks up um, behind the zipper. So let's see, I didn't use a ruler or anything. I just kind of guesstimated. And yeah, that's, a, that's, that's about it. Now, we are going to take our tapes and we are going to tape so that that crease, that fold stays in there. And then again, we gotta come down here because gravity and tape this stuff into place. And then we're gonna throw it back to the machine and run color stop 16 to tack that crease in place. See you after 16. Okay, so that is nice and tacked down. We do have, because it's a multi-needle, little bit of a thread mess right there, but look, I fixed it. I fixed it, did it. There we go. Now, flip your hoop over, and we're gonna take our top tape, our top vinyl, and we are going to make sure that we buck it right up against those teeth. Now, 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 now. I'm taking up some tape so I have room to work. Give me room, boys. I'm working here. And we're going to make sure that it's even with the left and right vinyl and that it's bucked up against those teeth. And we're going to take our tapes and put our tapes back down, holding that vinyl in place. Now, we are going to, yay, that's all taken care of. We're gonna flip this guy over. Let's see. Yep, nope, yep, nope, yep, nope. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna take the little two inches pieces of, of fabric and we are going to lay it so that our raw edge is right along of that very tippy top stitch line. And we are going to, more tape, I know. I'm a tapeaholic. Hope you bought stock in 3M. And we are gonna throw it in the machine and we are going to run color stop 17. And that's gonna tack those two pieces down and hold them in place while we do some work. So we will be back after color stop 17. Okay, there you go. And I know you're going, it didn't go all the way over. That's okay, we need to move our zipper and do a whole bunch of stuff. Just trust, peace. It's good, calm. We're gonna flip this over. And I know the whole hoop's upside down, so if you're getting a little disoriented, this is the top of the hoop, but I've got it facing me right now. And we are going to do the same thing we do at the bottom. We're gonna open, or we're gonna fold this back a little bit so that we got a crease, so that we don't have that raw edge. We've got a nice pretty fold. We're going to put our tapes back on and we're going to run color stop 18. That's right. We are now at the color stop that can vote. Color stop 18 and we will be back right after 18. Okay. All right. All right, babies. We are getting there. We are almost there. I have lost my very favorites. Tweezers, so I'm gonna have to use my second favorite tweezers. Right now, we're gonna take a good look and make sure that there are no hairs or threads or strays laying about to annoy me later on when I take the picture and then go in and put my watermark on and go, no, why didn't I trim that thread? Because I do that all the time. Okay, now we are going to open up, say, ah, um, our zipper. So we'll peel this tape up, we'll grab our zipper, we'll pull this fab, uh, vinyl back, pull the ribbon back, oh, rah, rah, rah. slide it all past, all the way down, then put it all back together again. Really? Yes, really. All of it. There we go. Now, we are going, hey, that tape's gotten worn out. How do you like them tape? Ha! Huh. Actually, I don't want that them tape there. I don't want them because I'm about to, I'm 
about to do our, oh, okay, I never mind, I got plenty of room. So yes, we do want all them tape exactly where I had them. <sighs> okay, we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna put a little tear in. Come here. There we go, we're gonna put a tear in our stabilizer and now we're gonna pull up some tapes which are gonna wind up going right back where they are. And we are going to tape open, because I don't know about you, but I am not a squid. I am not an octopus. I don't have 87 billion arms. We're gonna tape this open because we're gonna trim some stabilizer. And I know this is kind of difficult and a pain in the butt and you don't love me anymore. That's okay, I'll win your love and trust later. There we go. Now, this has to be super careful, folks. We, do, we got a lot of fabric and zipper and vinyl and stuff that none of it we want to cut. So we are going to carefully, slowly, very conscientiously cut out the stabilizer behind the zipper. And the reason we've left it in place this long is because stabilizer stabilizes and we didn't want any of our um, alignments to get wonky because then it causes bad tack together on your bag. But we're at the point now where we can get rid of this. The problem is this has got a whole bunch of other stuff in its way. If you go slow and you go careful and you're super nice to everybody and everything, it should be super fine. All right, now we're gonna put it all back the way we found it. Leave it like you found it. So that means folding stuff back down. Folding stuff back down and putting used tapes back on. There we go. And then squishing from the front. And let's make sure that I've done everything that I am supposed to have done. I've opened my zipper, yay. I've trimmed my stabilizer, yay. I've taken all of the tape off the front of the back. No, I haven't. Yes, I'm actually reading instructions to myself. There we go. Um. And now I'm going to run the next, ooh, <laughs> I was reading ahead. This piece of tape should have stayed. I am so sorry, folks. All right, now run color stop, 19. Then we get to take that tape off. I'll see you after 19. And once again, I'm evil and I lied to you. You should have run color stops 19 and 20. I know, I know, you can't depend on me for anything. All right, so now, yes, yes, we are actually taking up tapes for reels this time. Not pretends, for reels, including this one. Because we're about to cut a little notch right here for our side attach. You'd be doing this up at the top top for both of the top attaches. When we cut this little tabby wabby out, we totally do not want to cut all the way to the stitch line. We want to stop about an eighth of an inch. Um from the stitch line. You wanna leave yourself a little vinyl. And then when we flip this over to tuck it in, we don't wanna pull it super tight. Leave it a little floppy woppy. And then tape it down. There we go. There we go. Now we take our back vinyl, what's going to eventually be the back of the bag, and we put it pretty side down. And we secure and line up all of the stuff. And we go ahead and put four corners, four corner tapes, because that's how we roll. And then we throw it in the machine and we run color stop 21. Now our bag's old enough to drink. And then we will come back after 21 and we will put the last piece of lining on. All right, so go run 21 and we'll be back after that. Okie dokie pokies, we are almost done. We are gonna flip this bad boy over, voila. And we are going to take the back fabric and we are going to place it so that it covers um, our 
um, stitch line all the way around like so, left, right, center. And then we are gonna sweep it down and we're gonna throw it back in the machine and we're gonna run color stop 22. You do not run 23. No, 23 for you. That's a dead stop to keep your needle head from moving over the center of the work. All right, because most machines, when they finish, they go ba -da 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 -da, done, and then they move to the center of the work, and we don't want it catching on anything. So run 22, and then we will be back to turn and party up. Okay, folks, here we are. We are almost done. We got some turning, and we got some hand sewing to do, but basically, we're almost there, guys. Except that I lost my scissors and my roto cutter and my lion and my tiger and my bear. There we go. All right, so we're just going to pop this out just like so. Then we're going to get this big honking hoop out of the way so that I don't stab myself with it. And we are going to trim all the way around. And we want to leave ourselves about an eighth of an inch ish on. Um, all four sides. I trim the bottom first, then I trim the left. Ooh, I did not trim all the way on the left. Arr, my roto cutter's getting, yep, she be dull. So I gotta go give it to Scott because I'm not allowed to change my roto cutter blade anymore. And then I'm gonna do the right. Why? Because I sliced open my hand, but good one time. And being me, I didn't go get stitches, but I probably should have. And we're going to go a second time. There we go. Now, we're not going to do the top just yet. Why? Because we've got some surgery to do. So we are eventually going to turn these little tabbies. So we don't want to cut them off. We want to have some more room to work. So I'm going to cut, I didn't get rid of that tape. I'm gonna cut down to the stitch line on the left and the right, and then I'm gonna fold this back, <laughs> just like that. Now, I'm gonna tape it out of my way just to make sure that I don't slice that off because that would be bad. There we go. Now we're gonna turn it over and we are gonna do our last one eighth from, and we won't have sliced our turny tab. See, turny tab, aha. Uh -huh. And then we are going to round your corners. And that just makes sure that the corners poke out correctly. They don't have extra bulk. Okay. Now we're going to take the whole thing and we're going to turn the lining outside. And this is the fun part because, you know, I've got big old giant man hands and getting vinyl and hands down inside that little hole. This is where it would be beneficial to have a small child around. Slave labor. Here, come turn this for me. But apparently, you know, that goes against all kinds of work laws and stuff. So, mm. unless it's your own child. I know, come here. I can't even get a good grip. Arr. I can't get a good grip because it's cold and my hands don't want to work. Of course, it's cold. I don't want to work. It's winter. I'm cranky. <sighs> it just takes a little coaxing. You don't want to force it because you don't want to rip your lining and you don't want to rip anything. But this is the part where I get impatient. And for those of you who do lots of stuffies, this is the easy part. Because you're like, oh, come on. That's huge. Stuffy holes are only usually like an inch and a half, and you've got like two and a half inches there. Please. I hear you. <sighs> oh, there we go. Come on. Okay. 
because it's, <laughs> it doesn't like me. I don't like you. Nah. It's like trying to put on wet pantyhose. Man. I guess we don't do that anymore. Pantyhose are now like so 1987. Um, like trying to put on wet jeans. Woo. I've gotten confused. I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be shoving where. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my hands are cramping. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay. I got the cramp out of my hand. <laughs> Sorry. I know. I'm such a wuss. That's not even funny. All right. So now we've got the whole rrr, bag turned inside out mostly boy that looks like a blood bag okay um now we're gonna reach in and we're gonna take this tape off come here tape and now we're gonna turn the other way and it's going to be just as fun and exciting let me tell you so There we go. There we go. All right. Now. Ow, my hands. I'm going to wind some. We need to poke out all four corners. Well, first, I guess I need to get the rest of the bag turned. Okay. There we go. I'm going to take something firm and long and narrow, and that's not long enough. Where's my crochet hook? There we go. And I'm gonna reach down in there and I am going to poke out. Oh, my crochet hook's not long enough either. Well, then magic wand time it is, which is, there we go, ha ha. over here. And we're going to poke that corner out. We're gonna roll some seams. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to turn that and poke that corner out. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna find that corner. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. And we're gonna poke that corner out. And then it is going to spend some time getting fushed, smushed. But before that, so what we have to do is we have to take our lining and we're gonna fold both pieces in and we're gonna line up with that little stitch line right there. And we are going to hand sew right along there. Come here. And where's my needle and thread? There we go. Ooh, I do not have a lot of thread on that needle. I need some thread. Here's the fun part, watching me thread a needle. I tell you what, guys, today is just not fun. I'm blonde and my hands hurt. Put a little knot in the end of this. And we're gonna trim off our knot. And then you're just gonna whip stitch this baby closed. And you probably do not wanna spend the next 
eight to 10 minutes watching me hand sew, because that is not exciting at all, guaranteed. But essentially, you will go all the way across the opening, stitching into um, the two pieces aligning together to close that hole. And we will come back and finish this when we are not on the camera, but you're getting the idea, yes? Um, and it doesn't have to be pretty or perfect because it's stuck up in the top of the lining at the top of the bag and nobody will ever see it. So I am going to, for now, stuff this all in here so you can't see it. There you go. I'm gonna put my corners back the way they were before I decided to try and stitch that closed. I'm gonna zip my bag shut. I'm gonna squish it down and then don't forget to add your dangle. And there you go, guys, your comic book panel bag. Yay. Peace.